Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Let's put this cup out of the way. We'll get started on this one. You guys remember this engine? Yeah. This one's that got that knock in it. All right. Let's start tearing this guy apart. We'll see what we got to do. We got a plan on how to fix this. No, it's probably <laughs> kind of an unorthodox fix. But if it works, is it wrong? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Let me get you guys pulled in. We'll start tearing this all apart. All right, guys, you guys close enough to see what's going on here? So, one of the fun things that I've always found exciting about uh, a bar stock or a home-built engine is figuring out how whoever built this did it. And, uh, well, we already know there's that's the big source of our knock. And, yes, I already loosened this up, and it's not going to change. So, we'll pull this out. Well, let's put this bolt back through there. We've got, well, there's quite a bit of slop. And hopefully you guys can see if it actually does focus. So, yeah, that's part of our problem. And uh, I'll show you guys this. It looks like. He cast this part himself, you know, the porosity in that casting, which, which is fine. I mean, honestly, there's, you know, you want it to ride true here and here, the center section yeah, you want it to be solid, but it'll be all right. So now that we've got this apart, we've got to get this part out of there. I'm not sure how they secured, you know, our supports here and here. And, uh, well, in the back, they're held in with uh, Phillips screws, and up here, our cylinder is bolted in. Let's take our cylinder off. We're going to have to get in there, and, well, this has got to come out one way or another, guys. So, all right, I guess ain't nothing to it but to get after it, right? Get these bolts off and get our cylinder freed up. We still have our valve chest. Well, let's look at that too before I get going too far so we can take our rods off. I'm not sure how they tighten them in. Let's pick that up. Well, this is all round. There's no flats or anything. <laughs> All right, well, this will be a fun, fun project. So let me, uh, well, I guess I will do this off camera so nobody wants to uh, roast down there in the comments, but well, when everything's flat, we're going to have to use uh, pliers or something like that to get a hold of these. I don't want to, but we'll probably change that. Let me put it back together. Let me get these apart. Okay. Well, we've got our eccentric strap loose. And, uh, yeah, there's no... F well, I'll show you guys here in a second. There's no flats on these. Hopefully this thing will focus. You guys see that? They're just completely round. And I'm not exactly sure why that was the chosen way of doing it, but that's how it was done. And then on our uh, big end of our rod here, you guys see, they're also round. But there's no split. It doesn't come apart. 
So I'm assuming that this crank was put together with the big end on there. Well, not great for us, but now we can figure it out. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead and start getting our, uh, we got to pull the whole front end off. We got to access this. I wouldn't have thought this had been that big of a deal, but hey, it's all right. We can do it. So let's start getting that apart. I'll get these nuts off and we'll see what else we got to do. So, all right. Yeah. Right here on these. Okay. I'll get after it. Okay. We've got the ones off on the other side. Get this last one loosened up. We're going to see how this comes apart. And, uh, well, they didn't. They're not actually studs, what they used. Hold that so you guys can see. But, uh, yeah. It's a piece of all thread. It works well as a stud, I suppose. But it's not a... Uh, best way to put it, it's not a, a real stud. Get this one loosened up. and Take him out of the way. You guys like the back of my hand? Look at that. Okay. Now this should pull loose, I would think. I'm not sure how they have these crosshead slides attached, but it looks like it was all painted at the same time. So, no, that's not it. Okay. Let's pull our head off. Last one here. This comes apart. We'll get to see what's inside. Maybe we just need to uh, turn our piston. Unthread that. And once again, that's awfully stuck. We don't want to have to repaint this engine, but if we have to, we have to. Yeah, that's not one to come apart. So uh, let's tear that paint up. I'll get a uh, knife blade. We'll knock that loose. All right. Well, it doesn't appear that it separates here. You know, where we would think the head would be. It comes apart back here. And, well, that's <laughs> great. Okay, see that? That's silicone. That's a signature of a, yeah, a job well done. All right, well, let's look inside of this cylinder and see what we got. It appears to be, what the hell? We've got a brass liner and a steel cylinder, which is a little bit different, but it's all right. What we're after is back here. It did run, so it'll run again. Keep going. I'll tear this apart. We'll go from there. And uh, yeah, I don't know, guys, kind of a different, oddly built engine, but it's okay, we'll get to it. Well, guys, we're into this, and uh, yeah, well, let's see. And it appears to me that all well, the way this front was put together and sealed with silicone or some other questionable way of sealing. We're loose at the top, but the bottom won't move. And this well, right here appears to be stuck to that. Okay, see how this is moving? Yeah. Kind of odd. All right, well, I think we're going to call this one the mystery machine as to why would you make it look like this? And, uh, 
build it the way you want, but it is a bar stock engine, so <laughs> you can do it however you want to. I guess we're going to dig into it a little bit further, and let's see what hold our crosshead guides in. We'll take these screws out back here and go from there. All right, well, you guys can see that we have our, our valve rod off. Well, there you go. He's out of the way. And uh, well, we've got this part down here. We can get this here to turn. And uh, well, our piston doesn't turn. So we can get this off. That's not going to... Well, we got all this silicone goo and crud up here in the front. We got to get this whole thing blown apart. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this is, <laughs> this is kind of a, a strange little mystery to me. So, all right, well, uh, short video. Sorry guys. Oh, the mystery machine. That's what this one is. We'll figure out, uh, where we go from here. I'm going to call it a night and, uh, call this a video. So, all right. It looks nice, but holy cow. How was this thing done, and why did they choose to do it the way they did? But, it's alright. We'll get it back together, and we'll make it run. So, alright. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Well, we'll see you soon, and if you're not subscribed, well, we'll put it over here this time. Right there. Alright, thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.